I recently signed my son up for Dr. Boyce Watkins the 15 things every black child should know about finances. My son is 9 years old. At the time I got the program, he was 8 years old. This was in December. My son knew nothing about finances in December. But we went through this every day, every week. Now, three months later, I overheard my wife telling my mother-in-law that my son no longer needs lunch money because he told her that he sells snacks that he doesn't eat to kids in school and uses that money or he just saves it. So you know I'm in the background listening because nobody really knows that me and my son go through this course, you know, when I'm cutting his hair or when we're just chilling. So when my son comes in the house, I ask him, I say, hey man, what's up with your lunch money? He's like, I don't need any because I've been selling my snacks. You know, snacks I don't want, I sell. So I'm like, man, but I vividly remember us going through this consumer and producer. I vividly remember us going through that. See, Dr. Boyce Watkins in these courses, he talks about consumer, producers, mortgages, interest, loan, debt, all of the things that most black kids have no idea about. All of the things that most black parents do not talk to their kids about. I know my mother didn't talk to me about it at all. Credit, all these things in this course they talk about. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I mean, when I invested my money into this course, you know, I, I knew it was going to do good because I believe in Dr. Boyce Watkins, but I had no idea it was going to have this impact. And it's just... I mean, for me, it's just amazing, you know, and I and I say that because earlier today I was in a community forum and we were talking about you know, the strifes and the, and the ills, the social ills that the black community faces. And everybody was talking about certain programs. Everybody was talking about, you know, um, legislation and, and, you know, politicians making changes in our community. But I'd be the first to say I'd rather see more black businesses than more black politicians, first and foremost. But. Out of all the things people were talking about what we need to do in the black community, nobody mentioned economics. And so I stood up and I, and I talked about, you know, we don't own anything in the black community. Money doesn't circulate in the black community. Everything we buy typically as a black community does not come from the black community. It's not distributed by anybody in the black community. It, it's, it's not produced by anybody in the black community. So our money immediately goes into our checks and immediately goes to other communities. Asian communities rarely participate in the election system but they have the second highest economy in this country behind Caucasians you never hear Asian complaining about voting I'm not saying they don't vote but they don't depend on a politician to push their agenda because they know they control their money when you control your money nothing bothers you and you know in my opinion we live in a system of white supremacy many may not agree with that but that's why we can live in a system where we're oppressed where we economically you know environmentally you know, uh, treated unfairly. You know, people don't treat us the way they treat other races. We're discriminated against is the word I'm trying to trying to find. We're discriminated against in other ways that other races aren't discriminated against. So some will say this is classism. But, you know, I, I am one to believe that the system that specifically targeted African Americans, the system that specifically made sure we couldn't build wealth, I am one to believe that that system as a whole is still in place because it's the same government. That we were under then. It's the very same government. You know, and, and whether you vote Hillary, Bernie, Trump, it don't matter. You know what I mean? Right wing, left wing, it all belongs on the same bird. That's just my opinion. You know, and I just feel like if we don't have an economy, we don't have a voice. So we have to build an economy. And I think what Dr. Boyce Watkins is pushing with this Black Wealth Boot Camp, I think that's probably one of the most important agendas that we can push in the black community. Because if we can own black businesses... If we can hire each other, if we can police our own communities, can't nobody tell us nothing. I'm not saying we shouldn't participate in the in the national you know economy because you know that's what you're supposed to do. But what I'm saying is we should be focused on our community, focused on our community. The bulk of our money should go to our community. That's just my opinion. If y'all agree, let me know. If you don't agree, let me know. But regardless. We gonna build. Real talk.